Hello, we've reached Brian Johnston with InboundRecruiter.com. Thank you so much for coming to the site. We definitely appreciate you. You can always reach me online at InboundRecruiter.com. I want to talk today uh, briefly about uh, two, 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 the blogosphere, uh, two posts and a webinar that I was on today uh, and make a few comments and hopefully we'll you know, get, some, get some dialogue and uh, get the exchange going. Um, so first and foremost, uh, on RecruitingBlogs.com, Bill Radin, um, a sort of a subject matter expert in the recruiting circles, has several books. I've, I monitor him. The guy definitely knows what he's talking about. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a link up there for you. He's actually doing some trainings um, this uh, in the coming months, so you can check into that as well. I, I have no affiliate link at all with him at all, no profit. Just uh, I definitely would recommend him. But anyways, he writes an article about do we need recruiters, basically. Uh, and and the, the story, in a simple terms, is he represented a candidate. He reached out to the client, or, or, or a potential client. So obviously he didn't have a, a signed agreement or relationship. That's the way I understand the article. Uh, the, the client, or prospective client, uh, told him to buzz off. Uh, I like the candidate, but we don't work with recruiters. That, recruit, that candidate will find us through their own channels. He mentioned Craigslist. Long story short, that candidate ultimately did apply separately to that uh, that client. Ultimately, uh, it came to an offer, long story short, came to an offer, and ultimately it blew up. And um, Bill so eloquently makes the contention in the, in the uh, post about wondering if he was involved in the process, um, if, if that would have happened or it would have been higher. I'm 100% convinced if he was part of that process, it would have been higher and saved the company a ton of time. So, so that's that's one. There's a bunch of a bunch of um, uh, com really good comments on that. Number two, Matthew Jeffrey wrote a really good article on ERE, and the title is "Recruiting 4.0: um, Crowdsourcing, Gamification, Recruiters uh, as Profit Centers, and Death of Recruiting Agencies." Oh, completely and totally. Uh, killed my buzz, but I definitely read the article. I definitely commented. So obviously, this guy's a sharp guy. Definitely, really, really well written. A lot of really, really good content. A lot of stuff that I'm doing right now. The problem that I have with that article, and it's this, this gentleman is making the assumption that the recruiting leaders uh, 3.0, 4.0 are in corporate in the corporations, and I complete that total fucking dog shit. To be totally honest with you, excuse my French. Um, the, re the recruiter, in my personal opinion, the recruiters that are doing in innovation in our industry are the recruiters that are in the trenches in the agency side because if they don't make profit, they don't make money, they don't build revenue, they don't have a job, they don't have a company. It's not that way in corporate America. And that's just the way I see it, unfortunately. But I think he's a nice guy. I, I, it's a very, very well written article, um, really good comments. Um, nothing personal. I just completely, totally, fundamentally agree that the leaders um, moving forward in the recruiting circles are, are going to be from the agency side. That's my honest opinion. I know a lot of people that watch this, these um, videos are from the corporate recruiting. I love you guys. It's nothing personal. It's just my honest opinion. In fact, when I was on a webinar today with uh, Lou Adler, and that's my third um, point, I asked the question, and honestly, uh, who's doing a better job uh, in innovation or in mastering the sort of techniques of, 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 of recruiting. And, and his, his, his answer, very, very quick answer was uh, on the agency side. Uh, and it's, it's for a lot of the reasons that I disagree with Matthew uh, Jeffrey's um, article. Um, so that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put links to Bill Raiden's site, the, the link to recruitingblogs.com, Matthew Jeffrey's site on ERE, and then obviously a site to Lou Adler. Uh, Adler Concepts. So that being said, a little bit longer video. Apologize for the length. A little, little interested and fired up today and um, love to hear from you. Again, this is Brian with InboundRecruiter.com. Thank you so much for watching the video. We definitely appreciate you and look forward to talking to you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.